How's it going everybody? This is Anibal Tech and today I'm gonna talk about storage. I'm gonna tell you the difference between iPhone storage and iCloud storage. And I'm also gonna give you a tip at the end on how to save a lot of your iPhone storage. So let's go ahead and get started. So when we talk about storage, we have two types. The iPhone storage, that's the physical storage. That storage cannot be changed. So that's the storage in your iPhone. So if let's say you buy an iPhone that is 64 gigs or 16 gigs or 120 gigs, that's the physical storage that cannot be changed in any way. And you also have iCloud storage, which obviously is a type of cloud storage. And it also stores data, but a different kind. So uh, it generally stores uh, backups. It can also store some information from your apps. So some data from your apps that you can save in the cloud. Uh, and also you can save photos. And we're gonna talk about that in a second towards the end when I'm gonna show you the awesome tip. So a big difference between both these kinds of storages is that unlike the iPhone storage that cannot be changed, so it cannot be upgraded, the iCloud storage can be changed. You can actually buy more, you can get more space. And the trick here is storing as much information as you can in iCloud, which you can buy more space and it is pretty cheap, instead of storing in your iPhone. So if you're receiving one of those annoying messages saying your iPhone storage is full, uh, you have to delete some data and stuff, with this, you're not gonna need to worry anymore because I'm gonna teach you how to save a lot of information, a lot of gigs of storage in iCloud instead of in your iPhone. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me show you what I mean. As I mentioned, we're gonna save a lot of iPhone storage by playing with our photos. So let's go to my Photos app. And as you guys can see, I have 7,710 photos and 417 videos. And as you may think, this is gonna use a ton of my iPhone storage, probably dozens of gigs of my iPhone storage. And let's see the reality. So let's go to our settings, then let's scroll down to general, and then let's go to iPhone storage and let it load. And as you guys can see, Photos only uses 1.72 gigs of my iPhone storage. So that's over 7,000 photos and more than 400 videos, a lot of those videos in 4K, and I'm not even using two gigs of iPhone storage on my photos and videos. And how is that even possible? I'm gonna show you now. So still in um, our settings, let's go to our first page, scroll all the way up, go here to iCloud, scroll down and go to iCloud again, and then manage storage. It's loading. And as you guys can see, I have over 40 gigs of photos and videos in iCloud. So instead of using more than 40 gigs of my iPhone storage, which would be almost all of it since this phone is 64 gigs, I'm actually storing all those photos and videos in iCloud. And that's absolutely awesome. And I'm gonna show you now how you can do it for yourself. Uh, still here, okay, uh, in settings, let's go all the way back to the first screen, photo, uh, first settings screen, then scroll all the way down to photos, right here. When we click on photos, this is where the magic happens. iCloud photos, we're gonna need to turn it on. What it will do is it will save all your photos in the cloud other photos in high resolution in the cloud. And if you wanna save iPhone storage, all you have to do is hit this option, optimize iPhone storage. That means that all the full resolution photos and videos are gonna be saved in iCloud and only low resolution, uh, only like the miniatures, only the information of the photos are gonna be saved on your iPhone. That's why I only have less than two gigs. So you may ask me, what if I wanna see my photos and videos in full resolution on my iPhone? Uh, no problem, you just click, and if they are not in full resolution, because some of them are still gonna be in full resolution in your iPhone, they are gonna load automatically in just a couple seconds. So you see a video or a photo that's very old, that's probably gonna be in iCloud. That's probably not gonna be stored in your iPhone. So you just click, it's gonna load for a second or two, and then there you go, you're gonna see your photo in full resolution. And after you see it, it's gonna go back to low resolution to save storage. 
obviously this is gonna use iCloud storage, okay? This is gonna use your storage. So probably if you have a lot of photos like me, you're gonna need to buy more space. But it's very much worth it because it's like a dollar, maybe two dollars, and you're gonna be free of that annoying message saying your iPhone storage is almost full. And also your iPhone is gonna get much, much faster because when your iPhone storage is very full, uh, your iPhone generally gets very slow. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below. I really appreciate it. Also, after that, please click on my face right here on this bubble and then click subscribe to become a subscriber. And then after, please click on this video right here because I'm sure you're gonna love it. So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye-bye.